You're listening to 91 Reasons, a journey into the twisted landscape of pop culture. Keep your hands and arms inside the podcast at all times. And now, The Voice, Jeff Tucker. Hey, it's Jeff, and uh, we're going to present an episode today all about the Sinister Point Not So Merry Christmas event. We went last weekend and we sat around at Denny's afterwards and recorded a fun episode. Uh, It's loud. It's raucous. Uh, You can hear the clinking of dishes, which if I was trying to replicate in the studio, I would be impossible. But that being said, uh, Sinister Points Not So Merry Christmas event uh, was a blast. It was totally an adult fun event, which you'll hear me talk about. Uh, I just heard a rumor that they're not coming back. And that this was the last hurrah. And that makes me very sad. Uh, We do need these standalone, uh, homegrown Halloween and terror horror events. It's what makes life worth living. And uh, competition is good. Competition means that the consumer, the person who likes these events, someone like me, uh, wins. Because it means everybody's trying to do their best. So we hope that... That uh, rumor is not true. We hope that the owner behind Sinister Point is able to regroup and bring it back. And I know, and I know that, and I'm just, uh, this is just me talking off the top of my head. I know that it's probably because the state of California completely sucks when it comes to small businesses. There are so many hurdles, so much paperwork and permits that they make it almost impossible for Uh, a single entity to open an attraction or a store or anything in this state. They have so many rules and regulations. And and the hypocrisy of it is that the city of L.A. just said that all street vendors were legal. You 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 don't even need a permit. So I could go out tomorrow and brew up some hot dogs and sell them on the street and not pay taxes and not have a permit. And it's totally legal. And that's ridiculous, because who knows what's in my hot dogs? Nobody knows what's in my hot dogs. But if you want to open a legitimate uh, attraction, business, good luck. Good luck. You can go... You can go out of our state. You can go to Arizona, Colorado. You can open an attraction within a month. In the same time frame of California, you'll still be filling out paperwork. The state of California is not friendly to business, so I feel for them. If that's the case, I really do feel for them because it's not their fault. And I hope that, uh, well, there is no hope. Uh, The way our state is run, uh, there's never going to be any hope. You know, we're the state that decided to charge ourselves for bags and the state that wants to put uh, a meter in my car to measure how far I drive every day and then charge me a tax. Uh, the state really wants us all to live next door to where we work and ride a bike because they don't like cars, they don't like traffic, they don't want to pay for the roads, and it's really sad because California used to, if you've been to California Adventure, it celebrates the people that made this state great. All the entrepreneurs like Walt Disney and Walter Knott and uh, uh, Carl Karcher who ran and, and owned Carl's Jr. And people who, like the people who made in and out like the people who from the ground up pulled their bootstraps up and made a business. And Sinister Point is one of those. And if they get lost in the shuffle simply because the paperwork is too much or the permits are too expensive, or you have to do this and jump through this hurdle, and there's an inspector coming on Thursday, and that's the reason, then that sucks. Because we lose out because of bureaucratic red tape. And if that's the case, I urge everybody to, when next time we go to the ballot in 2018, to really read what you're voting for. Don't don't wait till the last minute. Do what I do. Get the booklet. Read what you're voting for, because we can fix all this. We can say, look, permits are great, but not when they're done to excess and not if they drive businesses out or out of business. That really sucks. So I'm, I'm hoping uh, as a monster, I'm crossing my claws that Cedar, Cedar, Sinister Point, I keep getting confused. You can probably tell why. 
Sinister Point will return next year in some form or another. I'm pulling for them. If not, they go the way of uh, Movie Land Wax Museum and Ripley's Believe It or Not and all the cool things that uh, we, we used to have and they fade into memory and that sucks. So hopefully they come back. Hopefully we review them next year. We had a great time at their not-so-merry Christmas event. And I take you now live, almost, to a Denny's somewhere in Orange County. Hey, we're at Denny's. It's the Denny's on Beach and Orange Thorpe. It is uh, almost 11 o'clock, Saturday night. December 17th, we have just done Sinister Points. What's it called? Not So Merry Holiday. Not So Merry Holiday, holiday. Not so yeah. Mary holiday Attraction. Yes. Okay. So basically, if you listen to our Sinister Point episode, they do a Halloween event. They do a, a local haunt. And for Christmas, what they do, correct me if I'm wrong, they just redress it for Christmas. Yes. So all the ghoulish stuff comes out, and the garish... Christmas goes up, and I was what I was saying before we went in was Christmas really lends itself to that because immediately you're 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 distressed because your brain is saying this is supposed to be good and nice and it's not right. So I, I, you guys were all planning on going tonight. I wasn't going to go because I worked all day. And the last thing I want to do is crawl around on my hands and knees. <laughs> but Michael contacted me and said, look, I want you to go. I'm going to buy you a ticket. How can I say no to that? So thanks to Michael, I went. Yay. And we're at Denny's. Oh, our waitress is coming. we got to do our order. Wait, we're going to give orders here. Hi, my Hi. name is Mary Ellen. I'll be your server today. Hi, Hi Mary Ellen. Hello. Can I start you off with something to drink? Um, I want to eat um, coffee. Decaf? Okay. Yes. Just water for me. Water, water. I'll, I'll have a Coca Cola. Coca Cola? I'll have a Coca Cola. Coca Cola? Okay, what kind of cream do you guys? French vanilla? Black. Black? Regular cream. Regular cream? Okay, how can I? Okay, I'll bring it back. Thank you. So, I I'm just been covered with black. I do black. That's face. really boring. I'm sitting here with Rachel. Hello. Colleen. Hello. Ruslan. Hi. <laughs> Michael. Hi. Aaron. Hello. And, uh, oh, somebody just dropped something. <laughs> Got that, that cool diner noise you always try to add. So. This is cool. It's like a. Uh, retro. Right. I like it like this. It's going to sound awesome. Oh, it's going to sound great. I'm going to get my order in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go around the room. Rachel, you did both. Yes. How do they compare? Uh, I like the naughty side better. Well, no, I mean oh, no. both events. Between Halloween and... Oh, I like the Christmas one. Haven't gotten to what I the like the Christmas one better. Christmas one better. Yep. Halloween? I didn't do the Halloween one. But you had a good time tonight. I had a fantastic time. Wrestling? I didn't have a chance to do the Halloween one because I was working. You were working. Farm. Yeah. Working ah. stiff. Michael? Um, I liked them both, but Christmas was much more fun than Halloween was. Didn't do Halloween, but I like the Christmas one. It draws. It, it's interesting, it, it right? Because it's so different. different. Yeah. Uh, we're so used to, and we live in such a PC culture right now, uh, which is actually ending because of Trump. So uh, <laughs> we, we, we've, we've had eight years of, you know, the president had wagging his finger at us and said, don't do that and be a nice person. Everything is going to be like this. And here's this event that's completely non-PC. It's filthy. It's dirty. It's adults only. What, and what did I say in line? I said, there's a place for that. Yeah. It's okay to say occasionally, leave the kids at home, adults only, and it's a little body, it's a little dirty. Uh, we went from, we had girls with whips and a guy with a, a, a phallus waving and wagging it around, <laughs> people that we knew, we saw a guy in makeup. Um, so basically, basically, it's everything for Christmas mashed together but wrong right and there's there's two ways to go two paths there's a nice side and a naughty side and they really trip you up because the naughty side I mean the nice side was like what, I mean it wasn't that nice no no and then but the naughty side was like really dirty yeah. so you like the naughty side Rachel I like the naughty side what was the uh, what was the naughty side you take your picture with their grotesque Santa 
That way right. they can sell you something at the end. Right. And then you go to the naughty side. And the first room was what? Do you remember? In order? I'm not good at that. I thought you asked like the <laughs> rooms I liked most or something. I don't do in well, order. Well, what was it then? Um, I like the dude in lingerie. That was the first room. That See, wasn't we're already, the first room. No. That wasn't the first. Oh, no. The first oh. room was the stockings. Yeah, what we want for Christmas. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That room yeah. needed more. And what did they do to you in that room? They covered me with black something or another. Soot. Yes. It was, you it got cold. We all got cold for Christmas. I turned cool. black. Basically. Like, you know when they put uh, ash on your face for Ash Wednesday? <laughs> they just glommed <laughs> it all over you. <laughs> they got Michael and Aaron the best. Yeah. yeah. Especially because you have your eyes closed. So I think it's not having the well, hair. I, mean, I, I thought they were going to put, so I I yeah, put poop out. on my hand or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that came later, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the next room was that was that was Santa and the lawn. That was a cross dressing. It was a man yes. with makeup and lingerie, yes. wearing a g-string and mistletoe. And, and mistletoe. And I got to hook Aaron to a wall with chains and a bondage oh, thing. Yeah. Had a dance to get out of it. That was Aaron, kind of fun. Yes. And we have, I was waiting for the. the and I have bills. pictures to prove it. The thing with with uh, an event like this is that. It's what you've always wanted in a in a, in a I don't know horror. About that. Well, only, oh, I, I mean, only that. I was kind of getting into it. Each room tells a story. Right. You go in, and there's a and the, and the actor is like, "Pay attention! I have to tell you a story." There's an event that's about to happen, and then you're pushed to the next room. And there's something to be said about that. It was really cool, you know. And uh, the other thing I'll say is, across the board. The performers were all totally fearless. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, absolutely. There was no hesitancy yeah. or this is what we're doing and you're going to like it, yeah. right? I think I'd be much better working there than hot. The naughty thing. Oh, I can see. You totally yeah, no, I wouldn't yeah. allow you to totally work there. I I do. Totally <laughs> totally Did you That's see me? Ear. Yeah, no. Was good. <laughs> With the whips and all. It doesn't matter. Almost. It's about the passion. It'd be fun. The money is, it would be fun. It has nothing to do with it. But they're yeah, they, no, they, they feed they you, though, right? If they the, fed me, I'd go. That's the one big question that they ask me when I work. We'll work for food. How was the pay? And if that's the question, you can't, you can't ask that. Yeah, your heart money has to be, yeah you can't do it for the money. You have to have that weird switch, and we all have it. That's of, me. I, 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 I need to do this, yeah. right? Let me just say this. Working Scary Farm, I look at it this way. Not only am I having the best time of my life, but I'm making countless guests have the best time of their life. Exactly, you know? exactly. I want to be that who chick. <laughs> I liked her. Oh, the who chick with the yeah. Grinch? Yeah, so do that. Oh. Yeah. She was bouncing on a trampoline. Yeah, I know. You know who that is, right? next year. No, she She's knew my name. Evil. Oh, and who so is she? The guy before that, that we walked in here. That no was her wonder boyfriend. she knew me. Who are you, Whoville girl? <laughs> I, know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the say the name on the air. So Let me know on the air. Okay, you can tell me after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we, we, got, we got to a hallway <laughs> where the wallpaper was advertised as lickable, like Willy yeah, Wonka. Kind of <laughs> and <laughs> this guy is licking the wallpaper. Well, he must have knew you because he really liked you. He really liked me though too. Oh, yeah, okay. well, he why. really liked I, guys. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get it. He didn't care about a social me, disease by licking a wall. Oh, that was disgusting. I, I can't do it. I can't believe he did it. I, I can't, can't do, do it. it. No hesitation. No one I'm like, I'm having fun. Like, Let's do this. YOLO. When in Rome, right? Yeah. I said, hell, you didn't have a special head to it. Hey, I didn't do those ones. <laughs> yeah, my there were my my no. regular thing. candy canes and phallus candy canes, uh, which was a continuing trend throughout this event. Uh, then we, uh, what do we see next? Well, we're not really going in order. We we're in a room where there's a guy yelling at us to. Get on all fours well, and like become a reindeer. Uh, reindeer school. Or something. Yeah, yeah, I didn't care for that one. Yeah. Just kind of out there. I, I mean, yeah, the room was creative, but it was oh, just... Oh, we got drinks. Coffee. Got the coffee here. Hey, decaf. Right here. Got the decaf. Thank you. You got Coke? Okay, has water. All right. Water there, water here, water everywhere. Thank you. But not enough. Not a drop to drink, right? Coke for me. Okay, and the half and half? Okay, so are you ready to order? I am. I am. I, I never got to see the 246, so I can't. Oh, oh you're um, way behind. I'm way behind. I'm, I don't know what everyone's on. I'm, I'm doing a show. Biscuits and gravy. Sure. How do you like the eggs? Club? Scrambled, please. Scrambled. Okay, do you want to choose that? No. Okay. I know I'm not even getting it now. I'll have the honey you biscuits, 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 biscuits,
the honey jalapeno bacon. Oh, the, yeah. the, the sriracha burger. Yes, please. Okay. Biscuits and gravy. Do you like it seasoned or salad? Seasoned fries. Oh, that's quite a salad. decision, Rachel. It is. Um, there's something on the six dollar menu that. Uh, I talked about this getting crazy all the way here. Do you know what? Last time I came here with Jared. Albert and the chauffeur and all of us. And she doesn't do separate checks, but when you go to the register, oh, they'll, they that? make you pay. Uh, I'll just separate it later. Okay. And oh, okay. Also Come on, I was just here. That's how they did it last time. The, the loaded tag? Yeah. Okay, loaded tag. Yeah. I'll check for your check. I'm on Albert and the chauffeur. Wait, what? Oh, he's okay. Yeah. Did you order? No, I need a salad. Salad? Garden with, salad? Um, yes. No tomatoes or cucumbers, please. Yeah. With it comes with that. No cucumbers, okay. Yes. With ranch. Ranch. Okay. For you, sir. Everyday value slam. How do you like the extra? Sunny side up. Sunny side up, very good. And bacon. Bacon. Is this one yours? Yes. Oh, all right. Thank you. I just felt like a salad. I did the biscuits and gravy thing all the way here, and then I suddenly a salad just sounded amazing. I know you were talking about biscuits and gravy. I know, and she got it. Yeah, I had I'm to probably going to regret it, but he five. didn't get anything. Why don't you eat, Aaron? I'm so full from Arby's. Oh, see, I couldn't come to food place even if I wasn't hungry and not get something. I've never done that in all the meat, too, but still. Yeah, it's all coffee. All I ever do is drink coffee. So we went into a room where they had all the stalls for the reindeer drawn out, and you had to get on your hands and knees and crawl through. There was a girl dressed as a reindeer, and... uh, she what? She looked like she was. She was a little there. out there that time. Yeah. She looked like that helps. I thought it was that winter girl at first. I got a winter vibe. Got a winter her. vibe. Yeah, but it wasn't her. And um, we had to crawl through. We ended up. Uh, we just crawled. We just. It was. It wasn't that big of a. That wasn't that big of a crawling. Yeah. No, there we were other it. crawls that were pretty yeah, bad. Was, yeah. There was also a sequence in, with Gremlins music where. Yeah. Oh, that was with all the inflatables. No, no, you're no, you in the total dark. Yeah, but that was oh, after we walked through the room with all the inflatables. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The they have all these inflatables like in your yard, and then a guy in a T Rex costume <laughs> running around. And for some reason, what I thought was really funny was we were talking to the wallpaper guy, and the T Rex walked up and handed him a present, and he said, Oh, it's a box of crap again. Thanks. And I just liked that interaction. Uh, I thought, oh, that was really fun. Uh, it felt like when I'm gone, this still goes on. Uh, and I like that feeling, you know? There was. Uh, the gremlin sequence was back and forth in the dark. It was really tight, yeah. tight really small. The girl that gets you in the place, that takes you to see Sienna's picture, very hot. Yes. Candy cane nipples. Yes, she was hot. Very hot. <laughs> That's going to happen. You know you really like her tight. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, my mom and I was one that we had sex with to get back to no, that's oh, you had to crawl, crawl over. Yeah. You crawl over that the. Was, that was Mrs. Claus's yeah. caretaker. Oh. Oh, you like that girl? The girl. Oh, yeah, no, she was the best that. one in the maze. No, yeah. the oh, yeah. gothic tattoo girl. Yeah, everybody a, has their own pick. That's your type. Oh, I'm sorry. I not the dark-haired girl in the. <laughs> no, the brown-haired, natural brown hair girl. No. Oh, you're the so jet funny. black hair girl. Isn't that yeah. funny? Yeah. <laughs> She's telling me what you're going I to like you're this. I wasn't looking at her hair, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> Got to start at the top and work so your way funny. down. Yeah, usually I do, but in yeah. But that was the sequence where we met one of the Who's from Whoville, and then a very decrepit old. I like Grinch. the Whoville girl. Yeah. And the Grinch, Grinch guy was great. He was yeah. great makeup. Yeah. He was in character. Yeah. I got a picture with him. At which point that we went through, he had a, a whiskey flask in his hand. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, funny. And uh, huh. that's where we split off. We did yeah. choose, choose your own adventure. We did either Mrs. Claus, and then the second time through, we did uh, the <laughs> fudge packing. Yes. That was, Holy moly. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. He they have all thought, these. I think I'm, I'm talking up my son right now. <laughs> they have all these fake rear ends sticking out. Uh, spew Chocolate fountains. Aaron took one for the team. And though. then you have to reach in the center not. one, and candy not. comes out. And while you're taking him. Now, Russell, I don't know how far you've gone in the real world, but I can assure you that candy does not come out of that area. <laughs> no, it does not. And that is not something.
something you want to. If the guy in the van says that, do not get in the van. Don't get in my freaking cycle. Don't move on that guy. Candy okay. came out. It might be a different story. And it's pre wrapped. I know. It was pre wrapped, yes. Let me just say, when you my had to stick the van in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I have to. Mine was right at the, the beginning, but I wanted to feel around a little bit. Yeah. I, 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 have, I have to say, when my mom and I went through the Grimlands part, when we went through a second time, the T Rex was following us in there. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's, I like that stuff. That makes it really real yeah. to me. That's yeah. fun. scared us all the way to the Gremlin thing. There was another spot where they gave you a choice where we came upon Mary. Yay, Mary! And Mary either put us in a underground ice tunnel, which was brutal. It was brutal. Yeah. Brutal. And there was a... Um, Woman trapped in the ice, ice, banging on she it. Could reach over. Yes, she touched oh, yeah. me. She grabbed me. I didn't me, expect uh, that. Yeah. I, I, I thought like, she was oh, behind no, the glass. I was like, oh, she's oh, touching me. That. that would have freaked me out. Yeah, well, that, that was, was the was, one. That was, freaked me was a little bit. That was the one moment in the maze where I thought I, I can't have a panic attack in here, like because because I've done a lot of Halloween events, right? And and every one of them, there's always an exit way, a route out, and in the middle of that with Rachel in front of me and somebody crawling behind me, that's it. Well, you I are. wanted out a little too fast because you kept going up my butt, man. I, I needed it. Like, I, I, well, I, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have a moment of hyperventilating, of panic, yeah. and that's really possible in an event like that. that. But but they they I was freaking out. I, was, I didn't know what that was. I was freaking out. He grabbed my shoe and he's like, it's okay. And I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah, that, that was scary. You could not see me. Not you couldn't. Me. And, and, and it was so it tight. Was so, so I cheated cold. when I was with Aaron in the Black Wall one. <laughs> I was using my cell phone. And then the guy called me, he's all, you're naughty. And what was the other choice? Head. What the was other, the bat? The, toy the other choice was um, the... Uh, what was where Tim was, right? The way the bathroom. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The the, the I got sprayed on it. I knew it was coming. It still was either the bathroom or playing with balls, but Mary was the ice channel channel and something else. Oh, we just did it. Yeah, it was it was the it was another it was a mirror maze. Mirror yeah, maze, that's what it was. You're totally right. Yes, yeah, that was yeah. 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 It was a mirror maze. I was, I was, I was, to her, I was like, oh hell. Okay, but, but she could <laughs> she could see <laughs> through it. Why did I know that? 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 Why so what you're talking about was there were two choose your own paths. The yeah. first was a bathroom full of toilets, and you had to. He, this guy in a poof costume spun a wheel. Mr. And I was so glad when it landed. The on bathroom. You 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 landed on. You got the brunt of all this crap. Yeah, they both of them did. Uh, the and it, shot, out got too. it sprayed you right. <laughs> I went to reach in and it hit. It shot me in the face. I would have thought going to dive in and go. Okay, here we go. Uh, like I saw that and went. Okay, I, I, I now we know. And as I walked by, he hit it again and it shot, shot me right everybody. in the face, yeah. man. It was I ran. so gross. Second wrestling got it. Exactly. I what ran. I, uh, we I hope, hope water. water. So yeah, that and was then, one of the choices. If you pick that, you didn't get the other. And the other, to me, was the highlight. Oh yeah. You walked in and it was Tim, dressed as an elf with <laughs> a with a phallus, <laughs> and he was waggling like it. Like I've never seen him before. And he was so <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like I was like oh, a glimpse into Tim and Mary. He looked like life. he looked like Harry Potter when he gets his wand. <laughs> Hey, uh, I don't want to go into that concept, but I've read some fan fiction of Harry Potter. Oh. Some of it I did not <laughs> wish I read. Stay away from that slash fix. Yeah. So I lost a bet so I He takes you into a room where there's a sleigh. And you actually board the sleigh. It reminded me of Willy Wonka when they get on that the was on the so truck. Cool. That was the best and part. there are cups of snowballs. There's a couple of cutouts from Home Alone, and then there's a monster. And you're just like flinging the balls. And he throws them back. He throws them back. And you know what? Once really good. That was over too soon. No, that yeah. was. I wish you could have gone all I thought it was so again. much we fun. Like, yeah. Tim, pull us back yeah. and push us again. Like, done that again. Because it was so unique. It was. Tim- now, I've always said like. To me, the greatest thing in the movies are when they show a, a haunted house ride or something. Because it's always so ridiculous with yeah. stuff that can't be reset, right. right? And they're always on some sort of moving platform ride vehicle. And that was the closest. I just, it just yeah. felt to me old school. Cool. Like really good. And you said I, they had that during Halloween. Yes, they did. What, what happened during Halloween? It was the just, you were greeted by two, I think, two monsters. And it was just foggy in there. You couldn't see where you were going. 
So you couldn't tell how, you know, like, in there you could see the tracks. Yeah, yeah. That time you couldn't. And oh, it was great. People, uh, I think a couple, a monster, another monster appeared out of the fog as you were going towards... Oh, that's the, fun. Yeah. I missed it. I wish I could have done that. I didn't I get that to say, cool. like, a full haunted house is awesome, but I do have to say if the whole experience was just that with the sleigh, I would have been just... It was happy. great, right? Yeah. 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 Because, because you know what? He said, you know, it's the, the, the gimmick was we're going to play with balls, and I thought, oh, it's some Target thing or something. <laughs> and when he opened the door, it's one of the few moments I, I was really <laughs> surprised. Yeah, I was hoping yeah. for a ball pit. Yeah. But no, there's a, it moves. Yeah, there's a ride for us. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. So that was a good time. There was also a hallway with the... Snow, abominable snowman, and a oh, yeti. Oh, he yeah. got me. Yeah. He, what did he kept telling you, saw. Michael? Because you you were you one during hot, right? Well, he didn't tell didn't me anything. Up. He didn't say anything to me. You no. said it. Not the first time. Yeah, I just kept saying it was the dead of. Oh, I when did I walk into the dead of winter? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for him to move. Yeah. Don't forget the dentist. Oh, right, right. There was a dentist yeah, room. Yeah, the dentist yeah. room. I was at home because I'm. I, I was the dentist in yeah. Fairy, so it was flashback for me. And it was supposed to be Hermes from. Rudolph the Red Nosed yeah. Reindeer, oh, okay. who wants to be a dentist instead of making toys. Oh, yeah. so you didn't get that? Oh, no, it was very yeah. cute. <laughs> he had his hat and yellow swoosh hair on the door. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, awesome. yeah, they really went out of their way to really reference all the elements of Christmas, including the quote unquote newer ones, which aren't new at all, which was Krampus. Right, that was definitely. And a really nice finale with. Krampus waiting on the fireplace and the snowman attacking and uh, you you crawled under the fireplace and the, the Krampus guy you know he's wearing a mask he turned and ran and he just he nearly knocked me over oh. and uh, I laughed but it didn't hurt Santa was fun he gave me a good spanking yeah yeah there was a weird like Buddy the Elf cut out in there and I thought it was so oh. out, I thought it was so out of place that it was hilarious oh that was the one of the inflatables yeah I yeah. stopped and took a picture with it Oh, that's awesome. That room of inflatables was pretty hot. Yeah. I would have loved yeah, it. No, I thought it was great. Because, yeah, it was great because it's one of those newer things of how, of Christmas, and you're like, oh, they found a way to incorporate it. Like, that's clever, and it yeah. filled the room. Yeah. Yeah. And I, to me, that was one of the, the most impressive things was the use of space. Uh-huh. Like, I, that, was, that place used to be a thrift store, and I went there a lot. Yeah. So I couldn't tell where I was in the thrift store or not. And that do you was, do that, though? I was going through going, girls' clothing. <laughs> what's like, what's like, what's like, what's like, what's like, in my shoes. That means you know the store really well. We did that thrift well. store really well. Spoken like a shopper. I was waiting for the bathroom to come. We never, they we never really that thought way. out the layout inside there. Oh, it was really how, clever, yeah. yeah. Yes. They really incorporated. Yeah. They really just laid things out, and you could t- you could follow the story. Well, by the going, other... Go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, by going from Halloween, you know, I could tell what room was what from Halloween, but it was just totally different. The other thing, and we actually stopped, was they have this clear acrylic ramp that goes oh, yeah. up, and they project mm-hmm. under it a door, so it looks like, if you, if you can't really see the, the acrylic... It looks like a hallway door that you can't get to. Wait, is that where the guy slid uh, down yes. in the Halloween? Okay, yeah. hey, that was my favorite down. part of the Halloween. It was really event. impressive. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. I, that's yeah. interesting to see how they used it another way then. Yeah. I didn't even make the connection that that's what that was until yeah. you said acrylic ramp. I'm like, that's where my, because that was my favorite part of the Halloween one. I'm like, that's where the guy slid well, from. See, nobody ever slid down it when I went through it six times on Halloween. But really? Really? Tonight, tonight, tonight they did. did. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they slid down on Halloween the whole time. Yeah. I, I would always stop and wait to walk. I'm like, oh my god, this is the best part. Yeah, I always I missed like it. The I, guess. Guy. And I went through it six times. Wow. Did you really? Well, How I never knees? saw the ride. Oh, they were fine. Oh my god. Because you only had to do it twice. We picked, I, we picked the the last two times. We picked the path. I would have too. The have path of least resistance. The, the, fortune, the fortune teller was the lady who gave you your band. Oh, okay. I told, I told, yeah, at the front of the... She, I go, you were the fortune teller. She's like, yes. I'm like, well, oh, cool. the one thing they That's had going for them, and we've talked about it, was there were a lot of pretty girls. Oh, yeah, yeah you know? I want to recommend something to you, Sinister Point. I think they should have, well, their Facebook page or some sort of social media where they have the characters and a little bio. So-and-so <laughs> works at Knott's Berry Farm, and during the year it can be blah, blah. And then you can be like, oh, I knew who that person was. That would be fun. Like... Yeah. To see, you know, Mr. Grinch what, was played by. What about yeah, a calendar? 
I just think they need something <laughs> so you can be like oh, twelve oh, months of cedar after. of sinister point oh, calendar. Because cool. I think the elf at the end who wanted a selfie with me, I think he must have known me, but I don't know who he was. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know. I know who you ask. Huh? It's Danny. What? Ask him. Danny. Danny. Oh yeah. Because he had so. to tell me who two of the people were. Oh, really? Yeah, because when I went through Halloween, I didn't know one of the characters at the very beginning, and I didn't know who the key master was. And he Vince, asked Vince have, Clortho. Yes. <laughs> I, yes. You just threw me out for the ghost Because I want to continue and I, I can't. Alan, I, don't get it. I am Vince, Vince, Vince Clortho, yes. key master of Gozer. Yeah, that's what Jeff and I were saying. Where would, the, if Alan had been there tonight and his wife hadn't been sick, yeah. where was Mrs. Claus in relation to the maze? I wonder where that fit in. Where would he, he had been? Well, Alan, where were you? The one Santa Claus was in that maze portion where he, he, had popped a, out he popped out and finally had to tell you which way to go. He might have been in there, yeah. Are we right, Alan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or he might have been in that room where we had to crawl into the fireplace because there was a nice chair in there oh, at a Christmas a tree. Yeah. I only know that because I collapsed in there from crawling. And it was like, I could really use that chair for a while. <laughs> and then the guys, the, uh, the other thing, the guys were either really aggressive or they were hitting on you. Yeah. <laughs> and by you, I mean me. Yeah, right. <laughs> They didn't you care know. about women. They liked the men. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. They, they knew how to make equally. you uncomfortable. <laughs> that, that's what they did their job. You're supposed yeah. to. And, which, and if you go along with it, you go along with it. If you don't, you get out. Oh, yeah. No, I had a great time. I thought it was great. So thanks yeah. to Michael for buying the ticket. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you got to uh, go. It's too bad this was their closing night, but I'm sure they'll do it again so people will listen and go, oh, they liked it. We should go. They should do a Easter, scary Easter one. Yes. I'm trying to find a more ways. Easter, Easter bunny. Right? <laughs> Take your picture with the Easter bunny. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Teeth. There's all that stuff you could do. That's blasphemous. <laughs> Why? You're talking that about the Jesus. resurrection of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but oh, Christmas is his birthday. It's not something too. Exactly. Look what they need to do it. It is? That is so blasphemous. <laughs> You've ruined me now. I'm just saying they should do it Easter. I have sinned. <laughs> I am a sinner. Or St. Patrick one, with leprechauns in there. St. Patrick's Day. Right? Yeah. Day. yeah. How about one that's open all year round for your birthday? Uh, oh, the food is here. So, who ordered that? Russell. The food is here. Oh, my God, Russell. Look at that. My child has an appetite of a Yes, Look at that. Does. My everyday value slam with bacon. Right here. Everyday value slam. Slam it down. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Break the plate. Salad? Oh, oh it's large. I thought it was a little salad. See, then it, okay, it, right. it's That's a big one, Michael. Look at the size of this thing. And have biscuits and gravy. Are we talking about the salad? Oh, I thought we was going to get like a little side salad. Oh, yeah. Sandwich? Hey, everybody okay? Uh, You're fabulous. fabulous. Thank you. Two oh, yeah. little yeah. more coffee. Yeah, a little more coffee. Two coffee. Okay. Decaf. Oh. Once again, we're at Denny's on uh, Orange Thorpe and Beach. Come on down. Come on down. That's right. But it's not live, Jeff. Sure that's sit, fine. Sit oh, I'm going to pour this right Yeah, come on down. On. Anybody want to try a... Yeah. Look at that thing. So let's... Uh, everybody's going to start eating, so we'll wrap it up here. We've got a half hour here. Wow. Um, we'll go around the table. It's a mini episode. Uh, oh, nice. We'll give it a rating. Five candy canes would be top. One candy cane would be eh. Aaron, what do you give it? Five. Five candy canes. I'll give it five candy canes. Five candy canes. Five lickable candy canes. <laughs> I would give there, five man. also. Yeah, I'd give it five candy canes, only because it was different, and it's so hard to be different in attractions today. So when you see something really unusual and different, you have to point it out. you got to tell your friends. So uh, check out Sinister Point on Facebook. Find out when they're opening up. They'll open up for Halloween next year. And then uh, do this special Christmas uh, not-so-merry event that they've done. Uh, a lot of fun. Really different and great. And uh, it's okay to be irreverent once in a while. It's okay to to be uh, not politi- politically correct and to roll around in the muck, right? It's okay to say Merry Amen. Christmas. And it's okay to say Merry yeah, Christmas, yeah. right? Yeah. Alright, so let's end the show with everybody saying Merry Christmas. And then I'll put a book in or something on it, so. No? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. In. 
What do you mean? That's where I bookend. I book in the show with with audio, where I yeah. open the show the with bumpers. what it's about, and at the end I do the plugs and do okay. the, the anyone reasons part. Got it. That way everybody can say <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas here. Okay. Okay, we can do that. All right. So live from the Denny's in, in uh, Orange County. Uh, let's give our names. I'm Jeff. Rachel. Colleen. Russell. Barnby. Aaron. <laughs> and together we're going to tell you Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. There you have it, folks. 30 minutes at a Denny's with me. What more could you want? I eat like a pig and I chew with my mouth open. So if you weren't scared at the uh, Sinister Point event, you would have been scared sitting next to me. And Rachel always looks horrified. I'm totally kidding. I'm a complete gentleman. I daintily cut each bite with a fork and knife and place it into my mouth and nibble nibble so quietly. Yeah, 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 whatever. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thanks to Michael Bondi for hosting this event it was his idea i was going to spend the night uh, at my house editing uh, old uh, youtube videos i've been working on but instead i had a great time uh, i was thoroughly impressed with what they were able to do at sinister point uh, i met um uh, evil santa claus and there were a lot of really sexy elves and who's and i saw the grinch and i saw my friends tim and mary in ways that i thought i would never see them and I had a great time, and uh, once again, I'm hoping that they return, because standalone uh, Halloween attractions are great, and if we lose them, uh, we're losing Halloween bit by bit. We really are. We really are. So think about that, and email the people at Sinister Point, and urge them to fight, and come back, and, and rise from the ashes, because we hope that the rumors are not true. And uh, in the meantime, uh, coming up in uh, the new year is uh, Scarole and Midsummer Scream. I cannot wait to go. I didn't go to Scarole last year, but I went to Midsummer Scream and I had the greatest time ever. So uh, let's hope that uh, Midsummer Scream is back. I know I know they're back, but let's uh, let's uh, go there with a vengeance and have a great time. Ninety One Reasons was. Uh, uh, proud to be at Midsummer Scream. We had a table. We met lots of fans. We got lots of new listeners. And uh, Halloween, man, does it ever have to go away? No, it never has to go away. You know, I feel like um, like Scrooge at the end of Christmas Carol where he goes, you know, I will keep Halloween in my heart. I will make Halloween every day. You know, I'm paraphrasing, you know, you boy, uh, what is it, sir? Go get the biggest jack-o'-lantern in the window and take it to the Cratchit house, you know? Uh, who doesn't love Halloween? I'm looking at it right now. I've got my Halloween 3 set of masks, the skull, the witch, and the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I love Halloween. And uh, this was a way to extend it, and I never want Halloween to end. I'm going to go trick-or-treating tonight. That's what I'm going to do. So look for me out there in my costume. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Another episode coming up. And I promise that episode I teased uh, last week, the one I had to get permission for, is coming. I swear. And you're uh, you're not going to believe the stories I have to tell on that one. We're also uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, we're having people over to talk about Star Wars Rogue One. So that should be interesting. Last year's uh, Force Awakens episode was great with all kinds of opinions. You know, I'm a curmudgeon. We need some people in here who really like movies and not some jerk like me who's always trashing them, right? Right? I see you nodding your head and you are correct. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeff Tucker. Uh, leave us a review on iTunes. My new book, The Ice Temple, is available on Amazon. Book four in the Sixth Key series. Two and a half years in the making. What the heck am I doing? I'm doing everything. So leave us a review. Tell your friends to subscribe. Buy my book. I feel like the, the, the critic. Buy my book, if anybody gets that reference. Buy my book. I'm Jeff Tucker. I'm sitting here in Buena Park, and the show you're listening to is 91 Reasons. Thanks for listening to 91 Reasons. Please subscribe and leave a review on iTunes. Find us on Facebook. Is anyone even still listening?